Hey, this is Jack from Alpha Charts with a state of the market video. Today is June 8th, 2024. Before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. And I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. All right, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It does help me out. Um, and what else? I am using Deep View for my charting today. I, it's a great platform for charting and for scanning. Uh, it's a great, amazing scanner. So uh, if you're interested in that, you go to deepview.com and I think they, you know, um, check it out, whatever. Um, but you can also find me on X at Alpha Charts 365. Um, I post things all the time on X. Um, I think it's, it's pretty interesting, almost always market related, but not a hundred percent, um, a, a decent follow, I think. So check me out Alpha charts three, six, five, but if you really like my stuff, I go way, way, way in depth for my members. Um, the goal of this membership is really to, um, save you time, right? Um, it's going to save you time. I'm going to do a lot of the legwork for you. I'm going to do, um, you know, and then you get to just kind of come in towards the end of the ideas, look at them, decide if you like the ideas I'm presenting or if you don't, and then you make the, the last few decisions. And uh, for 10 bucks a month, you know, some people use it for, to confirm, they do all the work anyway, but they want to confirm what they're seeing. They, they just want, you know, maybe a, a second opinion, and that's also what we can do. Um, and then other people are just kind of newer to the market, and they just need somebody to help them, you know, create those, you know, process for them right and so i go through my entire process with everybody as well again i just present my process in video and written format right i do notes twice a week i do videos a few times a week i post things just for subscribers all week long um direct access for questions you know all kinds of i, I give a ton of information right there again it's only 10 bucks a month it's month to month if you haven't tried it yet there's nothing no reason to wait just go ahead and click subscribe again for 10 bucks a month. It, it's really a no brainer. And again, there's no contracts or anything like that. It's month to month. So you don't like it. You, you just cancel it. You do like it. Well, then you, you'd be very glad that you got the, um, that you click subscribe. So thank you all for my subscribers. And, um, even this video, we go may, uh, more in depth with my subscribers into market internals and things like that. Right. So I save stuff just for them. All right, let's get to these charts. So, um spy so we broke out kind of retested it looked very precarious here and then we started to get the strength the strength the strength and then we had a big up day here good volume and then some just sideways consolidation above all the movie averages that looks good right we can't say it doesn't look good that looks good um, it is summertime. We're in June. Expect volume to be on the lowish side. That's just the way summers go. So it's going to be a slow grind, I think. Um, and and don't expect like high volume stuff because people are on vacation, right? Traders are on vacation. And so that's just the way the market is over the summer, right? Um, the dog days of summer. Uh, you can see here on the weekly that we had a very nice up 1.26 week. Um, and again, a little bit of a doji right there, you know, a little, little um, uh, indecision type bar, but I don't look at that. I look at it as, as it held where it had to. And I think that's that's nice. And again, 1.26 is a nice up bar. And you see after, after this, you know, hammer, it was down, but it's a nice little hammer here. Just a little consolidation. Again, buyers showed up. And that's the important thing, I think. RSP was down 0.72. So you can see some information here. A little divergence, right? So the big boys were doing the heavy lifting on the week. Let's go to the daily. And so there's your divergence, right? And there, there's, a, if you want to be a little nervous, the market, um, RSP really hasn't participated. Now, RSP is the equal weighted S&P 500. And so you say that, well, this rally that's happened isn't really broad based. And you could have an argument for that, right? Based on this chart compared to the S&PY. Um, I would like to see this obviously above 165, which is only one point higher. So this can switch literally in like, you know, one session, right? And go from not looking great to looking amazing. But right now, what do we have? Where are we at today? We're in a consolidation. 
you know, from this area and these areas. And so we will see if, if this trend line on the bottom holds. It did here one, two, three times at least. Um, you know, and, and again, it shows that sellers did kind of show up here. And this general 163 to 164 area, that's where the buy. I'm sorry, sellers. I said, I meant buyers. Buyers showed up right in this area, right? Boom, 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 and boom. Right, so let's see if, if that continues and that kind of catapults us at least at the top of the trend line. That would be the bullish scenario. But RSP, you know, that if you want to be bearish, you would say, okay, well, RSP isn't participating. I don't think that's enough for me, but that's a that's valid. Here's Q's. Um, looks very similar, right? We had the shake and bake breakout. We got cautious here. Then the buyer showed up here, here. Nice little inside day here, inside and up. And that was a very strong day. I like it on, on higher volume. That looks good to me. Um, up 2.49. Again, speaks to the mega caps um, really outperforming. Um, and when we compare that with the equal weights, they were up 1%. So the good news is equal weight um, cues, technology, did have participation. No, not as nice as the Qs, but it participated. And that's that's all we care about, really. Bigger picture. I'm going to go back to the weekly here. Bigger picture on the equal weighted Qs. Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful pattern. If it breaks out and gets above 90-ish or so, we're on. Like, this is amazing, right? So that's what I'm looking for from equal weighted Qs. This is just really, really big, beautiful you know, we're talking about three-year base pattern. Oh, love it. Uh, it is above the 50-day the moving average, unlike the RSP. Um, and again, do we have a slight lower high here? Yeah, it's 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 slight. I'm not too worried about it. It got pretty doggone close to it. Um, and it's above the 50-day, so I, I think that's important. You know, it's $85-ish um, to 86 dollars $87. That's the big area for me. Uh, we got mid caps. Somebody's blowing up my phone right now. Um, mid caps. So we have this very important 530-ish area, right? This was these prior highs right here. And, you know, we dipped below them, came back. Well, now we're below the 50-day again. Again, just like the S um, RSP. I don't love it. You know, double top look. But, again, we can't call it a double top unless 515 is taken out, right? That's confirmation, Price below 515, then it's a double top. Right now, it's not. It's just, um, it's just, sorry, I got to fill out this form real fast. Get my CEs. Take me one second. There we go. Okay. So, looking at this video, um, again, looking at this chart, you know, it's got to stay, I think this has been an important area right here, this 530-ish level, um, 533. But really, I want to see it get above these moving averages. They are starting to turn lower. And again, you want to be concerned. That's a concern, right? Um, that's a concern. Uh, I'm sorry, I got to fill out this real quick form. And sorry, just a minute. Thank you. All right, sorry, that was important. Um, gotta get my CEs. All right, so let's go to IWM. By the way, on the weekly, let's do weekly here. Down two point one one again. Not a good week for the mid caps. Down two point one one, and IWM was down two point one eight. Very similar. Um, and I was looking for this to be some sort of bottom. And it was doing really good. And then it just kind of is falling apart. So I'm almost going to take these lines away if these are falling apart and prices under the 50 day and things are turning lower here. Um, I don't love that. This 200 day is now about even with this low right there. I think that's the area that's got to hold for sure. Like we may get more of a pullback here and we may get queues continue to rise because the mega caps are doing so well. Right, maybe spy rises, but RSP and 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 the mid caps and IWM doesn't. 
It's a divergence that you don't love, but it's there. All right. Looking at the financials, again, holding the trend line that we drew in here. On the weekly, it was down about half a percent. But again, it broke, tried to break out of this big base. And now it's just consolidating, right? It's not doing it, and buyers are showing up. I mean, that's good, right? I mean, we had to put that in the good column. Here's your big base. Buyers are showing up, right? Uh, I would like to see this make a higher high again. But you have a high, you have a higher high, higher lows. It's an uptrend, right? Price above is a flat 50-day. And again, it could easily fall below this 50-day, but it hasn't yet. That's a positive. SMH, beautiful uptrend, right? So that's a good thing. Again, it's it's just it's hard to deny this. And it's a product of NVIDIA, but we'll look at X. Oh, by the way, just looking at SMH on the weekly. Up almost 5% on the week. Again, coming out of this this um, uh, cup and handle bottom that we had talked about already, um, back here in 2023, it was absolutely beautiful. Um, and it really took off on us. XSD, which is the equal weighted, um, by the way, that was down half a percent. So again, divergence between the two. We talked about that a little bit. Still seeing it, and it's right here near the breakout point. And it couldn't quite make it, but it hasn't like fallen apart or anything like that. So let's go to the daily and see what, what it says. And the daily, you know, again, here it is. And it hasn't, you know, point of of just consolidation at this point. Um, we have the 50 is still rising, so that's a positive. And um, yeah, it looks good, right? It looks good. If it can break out, it'll look even better, right? That's what we're talking about, right? Above, price above 251, 250, 251, you know, coming into this white space up here. That's what I want to see. IYT. So this was one of the things that made us more cautious. It hasn't fully recovered yet. It's trying to. It retook the 200. It's starting to retake some of the shorter term moving averages. That's a positive. Um, you know, the 50 days still declining. So again, there's indecision here, lower highs and lower lows. I think transports have to participate and we're not quite seeing that yet for me to feel really, really strong about this. Um, sorry, that's one neat feature about uh, Deep View. You click on H and it shows you all the holdings of, of, um, of an ETF. So you see like here, there's all your holdings of the IYT. Um anyway. So you see what's really causing the the movements, right? If it's if it's cap weighted. Anyway, here is um XTN, which is more of an equal weighted version of transports. And it was down well, about even for the week. Uh but looking at it, this is the important area and it held the important area still below the 200 and the 50s looks like it wants to cross the 200. So that's never a good sign, right? But it's holding here. That's the positive. Well, until unless it breaks down, I'm just going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Uh, for now. For now. We'll see if it can get back above, you know, $78. 78 $79 would be really nice. And to get these moving averages starting to turn in the right direction. Housing. Right. Right on the precipice of breaking down. Not a good sign at all right so these are your concerns right you want to be bearish or neutral I, I get it these are concerns out there xhb breaking down i'm sorry itb breaking down xhb breaking down kind of right in that general area um if it loses 100 i think there's there's big problems i think um at least big problems coming potentially uh reason to be cautious but overall I get it if you're cautious. I, I, I'm a little bit more bullish because we have, do have uptrends, at least in the indexes. And I think that there are some things setting up under the surface that are looking good. So I'm leaning a little bit bullish, but I'm, I can't say I'm, I'm, I'm full, full born bull after looking at these charts. Um, but that's just where I'm at with, uh, with what we have here, right? If, if you want more in depth, content including going to the internals including you know uh focus lists and and and, and watch lists and um 
market notes throughout the week and, and on the weekends and, and um, more in-depth videos, check me out at Apple Charge 365 and uh, click on the subscribe, uh, subscribe button. All right. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.